I went to a uh, — I had a situation where I was a very excellent student, came out, made billions and billions of dollars, became one of the top business people, went to television, and for 10 years was a tremendous success, as you probably have heard. Uh, ran for president one time and won. And then I hear this guy that uh, does it not know me, doesn't know me at all. By the way, did not interview me for three — he said he interviewed me for three hours in the White House. It didn't exist, okay? It's in his imagination. And what I was heartened by, because I talk about fake news and the fake news media, was I — really was the fact that so many of the people that I talk about in terms of fake news actually came to the defense of this great administration and even myself because they know the author and they know he's a fraud. And when I saw some of the people say — and you look at some of his past books. He did a book on Rupert Murdoch. It was a terrible uh, expose, and it was false. So much of it was false. Uh, I consider it a work of fiction. And I think it's a disgrace that somebody's able to uh, have something, do something like that. The libel laws are very weak in this country. If they were strong, it, uh, it would be uh, very helpful. You wouldn't have things like that happen, where you can say whatever comes to your head. But just so you know, I never interviewed with him in the White House at all. He was never in the Oval Office. We didn't have an interview. Uh, and uh, I did a quick interview with him a long time ago, having to do with an article. But I don't know this man. I guess uh, Sloppy Steve brought him into the White House quite a bit, and it was one of those things. That's why Sloppy Steve is now looking for a job.